All right, let's look at this garbage. I told the K to wait for more proof. That's clearly the obvious good choice. Tried to shoot Frank. That's a tough choice. Answered the call. The obvious great choice. Blame Nathan. Yep, he's a dickhead, and that was the best. Why would you blame Mr. Jefferson? That poor man. You can save her. You can save her life. Fuck. How did I fuck that up? And most people save her. It was probably one of the Bible verses. But I don't know anything about Bible verses. God damn it. Oh, oops. No, the other way. Nah. I can't believe that. I It, it felt like you, you couldn't save her. Oh, man. What? Okay, stop pressing the wrong button, dummy. You didn't water your plant. Yeah, you don't need to water plants every day. That's a misnomer. You helped Alyssa, yeah? She's getting shit thrown on her face all the time. You were friendly with Taylor. Who's Taylor? Oh, the girl with the mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wrote a message. Yep. Tamper with the rail tracks. Oh, you didn't tamper. Oh, all right, all right. You didn't gain injury. I said I didn't want to go. You didn't help Warren. Well, I kind of did. I thought that's what he wanted. You told on David to Mr. Jefferson. Which one's David? God, fuck. <laughs> Nathan's the, the dickhead. Who's David? Oh, David Mathen. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it. I don't know why it doesn't just continue. In the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa. We call the film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm how so cute she is. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, Stelm and Louise. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. I tried. What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Oh, God. I get it. I also wouldn't have had that that memorial up all uh, so soon. You know, that's gonna be a crime scene area for a while. They'd probably evacuate the whole, well, they might not evacuate the whole dorm. It was the only entrance though, because there's no fucking other way I could get in.
Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. I still can't stop thinking about Kate. It's like I'm awake in a bad dream. Ew. Thanks for the image, Nathan. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? Kate, I swear I will use all of my power to find out who really pushed you off that roof. How did Sherlock Holmes deduce any... Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting tragedy. <laughs> hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. This is such a moving piece of cut-and-paste Blackwell bullshit. Nobody here had Kate's back. Too little, too late. Yes, now everybody loves Kate Marsh. They bullied her and now post their feels? Hypocrites. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. I'd like to interview when it's convenient. Oh, go fuck yourself. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. See, Lisa? At least I kept you alive. Guess I'm better with plants than people. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. Ugh, all this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. And hey, Bunny, don't be too bummed, but from now on, oh, I'm your new mommy. Like bunny. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Come on, Max. No more tears. You have to act, not react. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. Jeepest, I am so freaking tired. I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to stay on top of this investigation. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. I hope Kate finally has her wings now. Kate, I would give up my power if I could have another rewind to save you. I won't rest until we find out the truth and somebody pays for this. This is my prayer for you, Kate. Bless your gentle soul. I don't want to pray, I just want a lot of candles. So much hypocrite. Yeah, the ones that told us she was a slut the other day on there. God, that's like some awful TV crime scene in our dorm. How'd you get the rabbit then? Hey, can you come in here for Dana's a Dana's really hurting over this. Dana looks so sad. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault, too. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. It must be serious to throw yourself off the roof.
So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on, you really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? I know it does. It's complicated. It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherla? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Hey, Dana. I just can't stop thinking. I think we're all responsible for what happened. Not you, Max. You were close to her. Doesn't matter now. Kate's dead. Tell that to Victoria and the Vortex Club. Dana. There's more to this than just Victoria and the Vortex Club being mean. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do- I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell, and I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now. What? Like- Victoria bounced out- Not me. I- I don't know if there was anything else to get from that. Dana clearly doesn't mind if I peruse her lap. Aw, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's gonna wish she didn't. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. This is both sad and pathetic. Oh yeah, I've seen that. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Weird without the narration. Incredible. Taylor is utterly shameless. Erase that. Why aren't there locks on these doors, though? Like, that's a real danger. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues. Those boots are made for walking runways. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Hmm. Victoria must have her own power if she found time to steal this from my room. Good job. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. <laughs> That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. That's a good deal. Cashmere sweater, 30 bucks, clean all the paint off of it? That's a good deal. Victoria's Secret, she's a geek. There has to be some dirt in here on Victoria. Dirt, oh, dirt, no. dirt, dirt, dirt. 
maybe Victoria isn't a monster after all. This is like a thread for sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, dudes. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. I don't know the Vortex Club had anything to do with Rachel. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Huh. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's... <sighs> Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, I'm getting paranoid. Victoria is about as straight as me. But she really appreciates style. Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Jesus. I still can't believe she jumped. Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? Nothing here. Uh. Squirrel. Take a picture of the squirrel. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, I got all kinds of messages. <laughs> Don't forget to wild the plant. Oh shit, someone killed themselves. <laughs> this is far more important than the plant. Oh, wrong one. And the Nazis. She did nothing feminist or Nazi here. <laughs> what? Oh, squirrel. Go back to your bench, squirrel. What the hell am I doing out here? Kate is dead and I'm sneaking around. This campus looks like a cemetery. Right, get Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. The Tabanga does look pretty scary at night. 
Please don't destroy me. Squirrel. What's this? Where I sat on the bench? That's where I moved the squirrel. for me squirrel gotta be able to take a picture of you shit squirrel oh the most magical insects burn bright principal ah. wells oh, are you serious I'm, I'm toast there. if he sees me nobody can expel me not yet Anyway, look at me, feeling sorry for myself when Kate Marsh's family is in mourning. They'll probably sue the Academy right out of Oregon. Now I understand why the students call this place Black Hell. Am I able to sneak by? That smart son of a bitch has me trapped! Does he live on campus at the dorm? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Squirrel, help me! What is that? Oh. Let's see what happens. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still upset about Kate. I needed some air and space to walk. I'm sorry you had to go through that today. You tried to help, but God damn it, Blackwell is my responsibility. And I. I let her and Kate down. Go on back inside. Get some rest. It's been a shitty day. Good night, Max. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Oh, I guess I can just go really far back. I know I have a set of keys on me. Max and it just there. strikes again. Oh, Jesus. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. Well, like a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I'm... I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. I'm not trying to be a bitch, but... I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. 
All because my power didn't work. <laughs> it didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's gonna bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the players. And find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? I thought it was just suspended. Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Not just them. Yep. I just want to beat the shit out of those particular bros. I can still feel David's hand on my face. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Kicking it? <laughs> she's, she's kicking it. Kicking it in Los Angeles? That would be the best case scenario. She wouldn't leave without me, okay? And how often do missing girls turn up? We have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. You are huh. such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm like still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. I really cared about Katie. Katie? <laughs> Sure you do. I had no idea you two were that close. Oh, God. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. It doesn't exist. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. Jesus. That would be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have been people you, you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? So stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it.
Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? We can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. <laughs> we could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. Tell that to Kate. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. What happens if you go this way? There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. Blah, blah, blah. I agree that the cameras, it's not a big issue. I don't see the problem. He's got his own bathroom. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding what? shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, well, <laughs> yes, I could. All right, let's search. Nothing here. Dead end. Boring. Crap. <laughs> Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kinda know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. No Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. So is the plan really to blow up the door Warren and then rewind a time? Nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. No can here. Actually, I wanted to look around the room. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah.
Just emptied. Nothing here. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. Nope. Doesn't anybody drink sodas here? Release the Kraken. It's all mine anyway. Only three more items to go. Okay, let's look at it. I hate that formal and smell. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. Ooh, sugar. You're halfway home, Max. Biology. Ugh, oh, gross. <laughs> A periodic table. Wish I knew what periodic means. <laughs> Didn't die. We'll send report later. I never said they were great. Troll. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Good evening, fish fish. I don't think fish sleep. Thanks, fish. Nice work. Please resume your slumber. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Here's the sodium chlorate box. At least switch to E6. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. <laughs> Only one more ingredient left. And what was it? Wrong person. So sugar, a squiggly thing, a can, and another thing. Oh, here we go, duct tape. <laughs> Your locker looks so lonely. <laughs> this is like a scene in a horror film.
Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, said Max, the art critic. Victoria, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. I probably should find those items now. I'm trying to, see? Duct tape. The tape is mine. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Let me put it over there, too. Installed those security cameras yet? Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so Seems cool! Seems like a really bad idea. Get ready to haul ass. Seems like a really bad idea. Cool. Oh, we are toast. Yeah, exactly. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Rewind time is what we should do. How about that? Well, actually, no. Hold on. Oh shit, I'm in here before we even did it. So I can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with her rewind. Oh, this is bullshit, fuck you door. Welcome to my domain. Look, I fucking hate you, you creep me. You magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Didn't know she was expelled. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Hmm. Only two more files to go. Why would I know that? I certainly can't use this. Looks like an oil painting spill. Awful. 
Look at this pile. You're not so tacky up close. If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. Oh, really? Uh... I will not apologize. Tumbleweeds. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Always wanted to say nab. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. <coughs> God, Rachel, you made me sneeze. Blah, she's smart. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. See, she's no longer a student. See attached police reports. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Hell no. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. So Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully too. Shocker. If I would have signed the petition, oh. I could have made the difference. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescott's dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. 
That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. <laughs> Are you going to make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Don't steal the money. You can't steal the money. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but... I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue. I would have said to actually take some of it. Just a little bit of the money. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. No, you don't take the money. That don't implicate yourself in any more shit. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're splish right. Splash. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. Splish Splash. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. I would love a soda, but I just get wired. Go otters. If only I could solve the mystery of the missing cat picks. <laughs> I need the cat. The cat picks are on there. I hope the otters will survive. I actually don't have the time to investigate this caper. What do you want? Boys or girls? I... But why even, why even decide? Why would they go to the... I feel like she would just girls, say to go to the Girls, of course. Girls, ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. There's no reason to go into their locker room. Otters eat fever. The wit, it burns. <laughs> so, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. And these are cool shots. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? Hmm. Flippers! Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. Want? If I could rewind back to the 1940s, I'd get in serious trouble. <laughs> Where does that other sock go? Those are some musty ass old shirts. 
Yuck. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. <laughs> A miracle to save Kate would have been nice. Wow. I hope so, friend. <laughs> Sorry, Rachel. Ooh, oh. pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. Soap. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. You just look like a snoop. This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. 